UV index is going to be extreme. Now we are also watching the tropics. This is Hurricane Barrel. The latest update It is now up to a category three major hurricane. Very impressive look on satellite. Clearly the well defined eye right there. So this is going to be a serious problem for the Lesser Antilles later today through early tomorrow. So the Eastern Caribbean will be dealing with this getting into early this week. It's moving west at 21 miles per hour with winds at 115 miles per hour. So remarkably at a category three strength with that well defined center and eye. So let's track it through you uh, through the next several days. It is expected to strengthen to a category four before it reaches the southern lesser Antilles, the windward islands by early tomorrow. So it's going to be a powerful hurricane for them. And then it's expected to weaken as it moves west northwest through the Caribbean Sea, and then it will uh, kind of weaken down to a category two. It looks like by Friday when it moves closer to the Yucatan. So a lot of time to watch this, but something to keep an eye on. Now the reason why it's set to most likely weaken by the midweek late week time frame is because there's going to be some increasing wind shear in the Western Caribbean. So hopefully that verifies and helps to weaken this thing as it moves through the Western Caribbean. Also, something we'll be watching is this upper ridge of high pressure that's going to be over the southern part of the country. That's going to keep us really hot here at home over the next week in the Gulf South. Hot and we'll see lower rain chances, but it will also help direct barrel more to the west towards the Yucatan and the southwestern Gulf by next weekend. So again, a lot of time to watch this pattern. So far, the signs, the models showing it's going to continue on this kind of westerly track into the southwestern Gulf, maybe by next weekend. Again, make sure you are checking back to the latest forecast on this because it can still change and vary up uh, quite a bit. But looking ahead to those ensemble models for the next week, the spaghetti plots, similar kind of thinking here into the Yucatan, into the Bay of Campeche at their southwestern Gulf by next weekend. And getting into the rest of the tropics, couple other spots to watch. Invest 96, this tropical wave right behind it, has high chances for development, could become our next name storm. Also, Invest 94, still in the southwestern Gulf, that will move into Mexico by tomorrow. So over the next week, no tropical concerns along the Gulf South, but all eyes on barrel to see what it does once it gets in the Caribbean over the next day and a half or so. Here's your seven-day forecast. Our thing here is the heat every day. Temperatures in the mid, maybe upper 90s later in the week with that ridge of high pressure building in. So that will help lower our rain chances and looking good for the 4th of July, just really hot.